Hey there, so today we have another review and this is episode 3000 and that's quite exciting. And we're going to revisit a classic. This is, uh, I just picked this up uh, the day after Black Friday and this is 2021 Bourbon County. It goes on Bourbon County, Brown South. Um, actually, have only picked up this guy. I haven't picked up any variants. Um, gonna have to hunt that down. Uh, went to Total Wine the day after Black Friday and it seemed like from the shelf of like empty boxes that they had, you know, to give away, that they only got like one case of the variants. So I don't know how that works for Location like Total Wine. Total Wine's a huge retailer. Um, from what I understand, retailers are allocated from County based on the amount of Goose Island sales and obviously your craft beer bars don't do much Goose Island sales. So that's not gonna be great. Uh, at least the craft retails might not be a great uh, place to find it. So anyway, I'll have to figure out where to hunt down some of the variants because I would love to try them, obviously, review them for you guys too. But going to do the basic one. I'm so excited. Um, I didn't actually check out my last couple of reviews, last vintages to see like, you know, what they compare, but uh, ideally I have a pretty good flavor and memory of this beer considering it's one of my favorite beers and probably have ingested a good amount of Broome County in my life. So uh, beer is that standard kind of like very pitch black beer. I mean like the port, uh, the big bright shiny light on me. Um, it, you can see somewhat through it definitely, but then in the glass it's pitch black. I mean few darker beers out there, at least from my experience. Especially when you swirl it, you sort of see this black film that sits, um, cover, uh, sheets the, the glass. Carbonation, huh, a little bit larger than usual. Then again, I, don't, I mean, I rinsed out my glass, so who knows. And uh, really dark head as well. So not only dark beer, but the dark head as well. That's uh, uh, from the Mulse, so. Mm. Smells quite nice. I mean, the, when was the last time I had bourbon counting? Um, might have, actually, yeah, I actually don't, drink that much, if, if any, Bourbon County throughout the year. It's just pretty much reviewing it for you guys in the, yeah, pretty standard. Um, big smack of bourbon up front. It's really those really dark toned um, uh, notes. Uh, some of the beers, or uh, Bourbon Barrel Age beers have this really like sharp uh, bourbon note. This one's very dark in the sense that it's like um, dark chocolate, like, like, yeah, dark chocolate, um, like, like dark chocolate cake. There's a, like nutty edge to it as well. So it's almost like a little bit of like amaretto, almond, toasted hazelnuts. <sighs> Pretty standard aroma, um, big smack of bourbon, uh, maybe a touch of coconut, vanilla extract, wood, char. What are their tasting notes? Burnt sugar, yeah, there you go. Uh, toffee, yep, chocolate. Dried fruits, a little bit of that. Maybe a little bit of like um, dried date. Very standard, very familiar kind of nose on uh, Broom County. Let's see how it tastes this year. Mm. Great temperature on this guy. What ABV does it come in this year? 14, so I think a little lower. It might've been like a little bit higher last year, but they always have this like one ABV-ish range to them, so. Mm. Very nice. This is a really nice cohesive one. Um, <laughs> dog's excited that I'm reviewing from County. Um, nice. It, it, it honestly, mm, let me think. Mm. This one's tasting great. Um, of the fresh ones, I feel like this might be one of the better fresh ones, but then again, I, I feel like I maybe say that every year. Uh, this one for me, it's very dark fruit forward. I get a lot of um, blueberry, dried blueberry, raspberry, dark cherry. Sometimes they're a little bit more disjointed. This is super dark fruit. Mm. Yeah, like surprisingly, almost like raspberry. It's all those like punchy kind of like um, uh, dark red, reddish, bluish dark fruits, raisin, like it's all those kind of like, and it has, and the thing here I, I find is like it has a little more vibrancy. So again, I'm thinking about like, again, more of that um, like blueberry, wow. Yeah. If you told me full blind, there's like another variant this year that would be like, oh yeah, it's really nice and subtle. There's a little bit of like fruit added to it. Um, in general, it is still Bourbon County. Uh, this one is not as lingering and sticky. Nice bourbon notes you know, up front. Um, all those really nice chocolatey notes. Um, sometimes it has this like heavy cake batter thing, uh, brownie, boom, boom, boom. This one's got a little bit more levity. It has more of that kind of um, like a, 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 a chocolate 
like cracker and, and, and chocolate crispy kind of a dessert instead of something that's really moist, dense, unctuous. So it's a little bit elevated in that like lighter tone. So that means intensities pull back a bit. So it's like not full on intensity, but like, you know, less full on intensity. Intensity is still very high. Um, alcohol shows itself pretty well, 40% stinky, dry. Um, sometimes a beer for me um, has this kind of like Again, more unctuous quality, you smack your lips. It has this like bigger, thick chew to it, more pastry stout. I feel this year they've gotten a little bit more European. Again, um, uh, pulling, it just tastes like it has pulled back a little bit on those uh, really intense, uh, dark, uh, chocolatey and uh, bitter notes. It's a little bit more light on that. Back end though, you still get the char of the wood. So there is that kind of tannic um, bitterness and the uh, drying. Uh, Quite nicely, and then again the barrel, the the, the integration of barrel um, to this beer is one of the great things. Uh, why it's one of my favorites. It, it's, it's just seamlessly um, melded together. So it's like uh, again all those uh, dark fruit, that kind of compote, um, dried fruit kind of note, along with that kind of like uh, dark chocolate biscuity thing. Um, not, not again, so nice burnt, so not as espressoy as I sometimes get. A little bit cola like right playing with that and then dry woodiness not as lip smacking not as sweet really nice um this might be one of my like great picks i mean i think this would age quite well um maybe it age into something a little bit more unctuous and deep and and and, and dark along with those pretty uh, dark fruit notes so uh this vintage is absolutely fantastic i would argue this is one of the more accessible uh, vintages but then again flavor palettes and memories always change. So uh, don't take my forward for it. That's what I think about this glass and bottle right now. So 14% on this guy. So yeah, um, absolutely fantastic. <sighs> some years it's not a dinger or like it is still a dinger. And I think I've given some like 99s, but this is a clear 100. The drinkability and levity of, of such a big beer, 14%. And the complexity is really nice. And I like that. Um, I mean, I like the big bold ones, but this one is just elegant. It's very pretty. And um, I think this would be actually something for the beer drinkers, uh, sorry, wine drinkers as well. So highly recommended. This vintage is absolutely killer. Um, can't wait to hear your thoughts. Until next time, guys, cheers. Later, 3,000 reviews. It's been many years. Uh, I want to say it's going on. We're going on a decade in a couple of years. So it's been fun. Thank you so much, guys. Um, appreciate your support. And uh, thank you. Later.